What is up, tech fans from around the world? That's right, it's November 15th, 2018, and AMD has released a brand new video card. Ah! Now, it's really not the most exciting thing in the world because we were really hoping to see Navi, but I'm hearing that that's even gonna be pushed farther into next year, so we're not even see it till Q3, so that's kind of crazy. But what we do have is the brand new RX 590 and the particular one in my hand is from XFX. It's called the Fat Boy Edition. You can see it's a really large card. It's been completely like redesigned as far as the cooling and everything goes, plus the name, you know, Fat Boy. And it's really weird. There's been some controversy out there where people are trying to say that, oh, like the name Fat Boy is like relating to like dropping the bombs and Hiroshima and stuff because they had two little things like that. That's just completely ridiculous. Fat Boy, that's not even just because they, they took two different words out of something and tried to mix it in. People out there who are doing this, come on, man, get a life, man. This has nothing to do with that. Why try to mix in a hatred and all that kind of stuff into a video card launch? Just ridiculous stuff. But anyways, with that said, this is a pretty nice card. And it's gonna come to market at about 279 to 299. I haven't actually seen the retail prices on, you know, line for marketing sales, but for what it is, I think this card is going to be the sweet spot of all cards out there for 1080p if you're not you know totally interested in the whole ray tracing thing if you're looking for a good gaming card that's not going to break the bank and you're a 1080p gamer i gotta say this new rx 590 i think you're going to really like this particular card it's got a lot of nice features 2304 you got stream processors 144 of the texture map units you also have 32 rops so all in all a good card um it's going to take about 225 watts of power for the card because on the side you're going to see we do have a single uh eight pin and a single six pin connector right there. So it's gonna draw about 225 watts out of your system on that particular thing. Um, the card's really nicely built, okay? So I'll start off right here on the front where, I could turn the card this way, because it's upside down. Um, front of the card, two new 100 millimeter fans. They actually have 11 blades, so they're made to deliver a lot of cooling against the card. Um, they run really silent too, and if you're not gaming, you're just like surfing the internet and doing stuff like that, the fans actually don't move. So if you're not gaming, you look in your system, the fans aren't moving, don't freak out and go, my card's broke. It's actually designed to do that in the design. And another cool thing about AMD is that for Crossfire, you don't have to require any kind of buying a $50 bridge or anything like that. That's why AMD is always so good at being the budget king because with NVIDIA, you know, even though their stuff may be a little faster and have some cooler stuff, you're going to be paying big bucks because you got to buy the bridge, you got to buy this, you got to buy that. You know, when you put your AMD card in your system and you put another one in there, Crossfire is automatically enabled. And just like FreeSync, you're not going to have to pay any extra money, which is another great thing. So if you're a person out there, you're looking for a monitor that you're not going to rip and tear during your gaming, you can look up any FreeSync monitor this particular card. It's going to do very, very well. Now, on the side, you can also see there's four new heat pipes running all through here. Aluminum fins all cooling the card throughout the entire system. And um, when this card's in your system, it runs very quiet. Even when the fans rev up, these fans are pretty unbelievably quiet, which is kind of, you know, you're thinking, okay, wow, these older cards you had, you know, the fan turns on, it's like, sounds like some kind of lawnmower or jet plane going off. NVIDIA is like famous for this as well, but no, this card is actually completely silent. I love the fact that it has a back plate. That's actually wonderful. You can't cut your hand on it, can't damage the card. Um, all of these cards, have a three-year warranty. So if you're wondering how long does a card have a warranty, well, this particular card has a three-year warranty. All of the AMD software stuff that you like for overclocking, Wattman and all that stuff, it's all gonna be in there. Now, the boost clock on this card is running at about 1580. You can actually go into Wattman though and change it to 1600 megahertz on the boost and it'll run just fine at that without any problems whatsoever. You just gotta do a little bit of a tweak there and then you're in like Flynn. Now, the IO, is also pretty much the same standard IO that you get on all of these cards. There are three display ports, a single HDMI port, a DVI-D port, and one thing really cool about the end of the card is it actually has the XFX logo, so when it's in your system, you can actually see that as well, going, hey, it's my XFX card. If you're wondering, hey, will this card fit in my system? Well, the card is actually 10 inches long, so you know it's a real lady pleaser. But instead of being two slots, this card is actually almost 
three slots because it's a very fat boy card like we talked about before the fat boy well this card is a fat boy card so it almost takes up two and a half slots so pretty much the same thing as like a lot of the larger cards out there. It'll fit in most systems out there. I don't really think it's going to have a problem whatsoever. But if you're looking to put, you know, other cards right next to it, that may affect it when you're putting it inside your system. I guess the really big things about the RX 590 is the very fact that the Polaris chip, even though it's been redesigned, it's now on a 12 nanometer process. Now, that means they can make a lot more chips on die, which means they should have better yields, which should affect the pricing. So maybe these cards will even go down in price as the next few months go by. All in all, a pretty standard looking card. There's nothing that just like totally stands out, makes you go, whoa, but in any system with the colors and everything, it'll match pretty much up with anything. Um, it's straight ahead, it does what it does, and let's jump into the numbers and you'll see why at the end of the day, I really do like this card. We've been using the same test system for quite a while now. It features an ASUS Maximus Hero motherboard, features an i7-8700K processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, an SSD for the boot drive, and then we got a couple of two terabyte hard drives for storing all the games and all that stuff on. Also, we're using the latest drivers available at the time of launch, and we're also using the latest anniversary edition of Windows 10. So with that said though, let's rock out to the benchmark song and let's see those scores. Let's go!
All right, I have to admit, I just love that song. The new Benchmark song to me is really cool. And by the way, this version that you guys are hearing isn't even the finished version. This was just like a rough mix that we did with some guitars and some programmed drums. The finished product is much better. And since many people out there are always asking, hey, can I use your song and all this stuff? Well, the copyrights belong to us, but I will have this song for sale without any vocals on it if you want to use it very soon here. There'll be the vocal version and the non vocal version. So with that said, let's get back to the card. So RX 590. 12 nanometer process, refresh on the Polaris chipset, nothing completely new there. However, you guys can see that this card only gets 81 Celsius under full load. So any overclocking really past the 1600 megahertz, I don't really see that happening because the Vega was actually running about you know seven degrees actually cooler. And this card is almost as fast as the Vega 56 which is really crazy because the Vega 56, I believe is about almost $100 more. So if this car does hit the market at $279, even at $299, like I said, it's going to be a very sweet spot for people out there who want to do 1080p marketing. Now, is the whole Polaris thing the biggest news in the entire world? No, it's not. But you guys can now see just how fast the XFX RX 590 Fatboy really is. And honestly, at the end of the day, I think it's a really great card. I give it an editor's choice here on Tech of Tomorrow. Even though it's a Polaris refresh, it's still nice to see new tech. I don't care who the new tech comes from. I love new tech. And at least AMD did something to bring something out and just to say, okay, we'll leave the same stuff we have. Navi's being delayed. So this is the card at the moment. If you guys are looking to buy one, we'll have a link down below where you can purchase one of these bad boys for yourself or just get more information. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and now you know just how fast the RX 590 Fat Boy from XFX really is. Peace.